If you have access to the most powerful telescope in the world, that's ripe for all manner of discovery. Not only of learning more things about objects you already knew something about, it will discover objects you knew nothing about. Once you exhaust what a 100-inch telescope might bring you, time to make a bigger telescope. So, in the era that followed, in the generation that followed, this 100-inch telescope, we, we built a 200-inch telescope. This is the famous one on Mount Palomar, controlled by the California Institute of Technology. That telescope, 200 inches, if you do the math, yes, that number is the measure of the diameter, but the power of the telescope comes not only from how wide it is, but from the area, the collecting area. And that goes as the square of the diameter. So a 200-inch telescope has four times the collecting power than a 100-inch telescope does. When you do that, you're gonna see things that are dimmer out in space that you didn't even know was there. You didn't even know to ask the question about whether it would be there because you don't know what you don't know. Fast forward a generation after Palomar, you get to the Keck telescopes. The Keck telescope, now you're talking 400 inches, 10 meters in diameter. It's four times more powerful than even that.